It is time now for Truth or Fake, our daily fact-checking segment, and I'm joined for that by Catalina Marchandiabra. Welcome to you, uh, Catalina. Um, we're going to be in Ukraine today because the commander-in-chief of the armed forces there has published a photo of himself, and he appears to be wearing a bracelet with a swastika on it. Tell us a bit more. At least these are the claims being made by pro-Russian accounts and media uh, with this photo right here that's being widely shared on Facebook and Twitter since uh, October 9th, uh, where this photo that was published by the commander-in-chief of the Ukrainian Armed Forces, Valery Zaluzini. In this photo, we see him wearing this bracelet with, with uh, what users claim to be a swastika uh, right here in the bracelet. This user says, this is the commander-in-chief of the Armed Forces of Ukraine wearing a bracelet with a swastika, uh, but NATO insists there are no Nazis in Ukraine. So we have another post with the same photo right here, uh, where once again uh, we see this uh, bracelet circled uh, with the swast with what appears to be uh, this swastika right here. And this user says, as the openly neo-Nazi uh, Azov remnants are feted in Washington, Ukraine Armed Forces uh, Commander-in-Chief posts a photo of himself wearing a swastika uh, a bracelet. Did anyone think Russia's denazification objective was just a rhetoric? So this photo was, has also been published in French uh, social media accounts, uh, notably uh, by uh, François Asselineau, who is a former French presidential candidate uh, known for his uh, uh, nationalist and pro-Russian stance. Uh, he posts this photo right here with the Ukrainian commander-in-chief uh, uh, from a post from October 10th and claims a uh, uh, commander-in-chief of the Armed Forces of Ukraine posted this photo wearing a bracelet engraved with a swastika, a scandal in the web, and a silence in the enslaved media. So more claims that uh, fuel Russia's uh, Nazi Ukraine narrative. Tom. Okay, so Catalina, is this uh, photo real or is there perhaps uh, uh, another dimension to this? So uh, this photo of Ukraine's commander-in-chief is an old photo. It's already appeared in uh, this tweet by the Ukrainian Defense uh, Ministry, uh, posted right here on March 17th, 2022, so at the beginning of this war earlier this year, where they uh, show off their commander-in-chief, saying, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, uh, General Valery Zaluzini, we protect the entire civilized uh, civil, uh, world. Uh, this, uh, uh, this was... Also, so this photo resurfaced in uh, recent days uh, since it was republished by uh, Ukraine's commander in chief himself uh, earlier last week on October 6, 2022, uh, where he reposts uh, this uh, photo with this message uh, with a call to continue to fight for Ukraine. Uh, and he does seem very fond of this bracelet since we've seen him wearing it many times before. We have this post uh, on Facebook by the general staff of the the Armed Forces of Ukraine, and it was posted on December 1st, 2021, and we can see him wearing the bracelet right here once again, and uh, we can also see him wearing this bracelet in this post uh, by a uh, defense uh, reporter working with the Kyiv Independent Publication, and we can see uh, the Commander-in-Chief of Ukraine wearing this uh, bracelet right here once again. So according to our research, uh, everything seems to indicate <laughs> that this uh, what appears to be a swastika in this uh, bracelet, in fact, is a Scandinavian or Celtic symbol. We found the bracelet right here on this online shop called uh, Pack a Bone. Uh, it's called, uh, this bracelet right here is called the Viking uh, bracelet, and you can actually personalize it. Uh, and this, here is the bead that the uh, Ukrainian commander in chief uh, chose uh, for his bracelet that users uh, claim to be a swastika, and it's actually a, a silver bead, a Scandinavian uh, pattern. Tom? Okay, but the one in the uh, photo that's been shared online, I mean, that bead looks an awful lot like a swastika. Is there some sort of an optical illusion going on here? Indeed, following these claims, many users went to Twitter to demonstrate that the visual effect in this uh, uh, photo did result in a Celtic, uh, uh, did result to the blurred images, uh, did become a swastika. So here, for example, we have this user that had this uh, bead right here, and he showed a blurred image of the bead, uh, which does seem to become a swastika at the end. So yes, this confusion is all due to this visual illusion that pro-Russian accounts are uh, <coughs> 
are using uh, to spread this Nazi narrative in order to vilify the Ukrainian army. Tom. Okay, well, thank you very much indeed uh, for that. Catalina de March and Diabro, thank you for today's edition of Truth or Fake.